know. Oh my goodness. Uh. <laughs> well, hello and welcome back to the channel. So today I thought it'd be really fun to head over to Target and see what they have. I'd like to get some bath mats because currently I'm just like throwing towels down in the bathroom. Um, I we could also maybe look, oh, I'm thinking of the wrong place. I was like, we look at their flooring department, but they don't have that. I'm thinking of like Home Depot or something. But we're gonna see what else they have there. I, you know, there's just like odds and ends that I need to pick up and I go to estate sales and stuff. So there's a lot that I could get at those kinds of places, but look at the palm tree back there. My dad actually got that for the back porch. So I guess it'll get kind of like whatever size it gets. And I have my flamingo next to it. That's concrete. We're gonna head over to Target and see what we can do over there. And Stella's just gonna have to hang back here at the house. Oh, potato chip. She just doesn't even know. And then here is my money tree that my mom got. So I just stuck it here for now. Little money tree. It's a mess in here like usual, but I'm just letting it go. It's like, why bother? That's my mentality. Like everything is just so not good anyway. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to get excited to clean like just random stuff whenever there is no rhyme or reason to anything right now. So it'll all come together. There's really no, there's really nothing to worry about. Things are going to just fall in place and organize themselves. Boo! bippity boppity boo All right, let's head on inside Target. I was looking at these shirts here. I'm not really used to wearing purple, but I mean, might as well try. I like the little texture in there, like this color variation. So there's like this purple one and this gold one. That's another color I don't ever wear. This is just kind of like a dusty pink color. I think I want this like in a paint color for the living room. I don't know. So I'm thinking about those three. I'm really drawn to the pink stuff for some reason. Maybe because like flamingos are pink. Uh, let's see. This is... What is this? I guess I need to open it to see the size of it. This one looks like a... Okay, this is like your standard size. Okay. How many of those do I need? Well, thing is, I have like that long... I have that long sink in the master bathroom or the primary bathroom. So I'm trying to think, I guess, do I put two of them next to each other? And then I need another one, I think, right when you first walk out of the shower. So I, do I get all three the same? I mean, I guess I do. No, I don't. I don't get all three the same. That would be boring. So I don't know what to do. So that's the pink. Let's keep looking first before I make any decisions. I'll come back to that. I need to look over here though. See, because there's also these. So like you can kind of play with color. Like that one down there by Opal House that has like this kind of color in it. So, you know what I mean? You could play with it like that. So you could do that somewhere and that somewhere in the same room. So this one would be good. Where would that be good? I don't know. See, I, I, I guess I technically need three of them. So do I want two of this one and one of that one? I like this one, so let's do that one. And then here's two of these. Let's make sure they're the same size. 20 by 34, okay, two of those. Yeah, they're all 20 by 34. Okay, so that's for the primary bathroom. Now for the other bathroom, what do I want to do? I just need, huh, I don't know. I cannot decide. So the sh I got a shower curtain that's like blue. Now, the easiest thing to do to get another one of this you know what I should do? I should just get this one again. So two of these and two of these like pink. Now, as far as towels go, I don't need any towels because, or do I? Should I treat myself to towels? <laughs> I have vintage towels that are like, they're but they're like thin and a little bit smaller, like those old vintage ones are. So I should, really, I should get some of these. Ooh, I like these though. These are nice. pretty that color is nice and this like sand color and the blue 
And there's like that navy color too. I'm just one person. Why don't I just get two of them? This, this works visually better. I'll just do that. I don't really need anything like that. Shower curtains. I just bought a shower curtain at a state sale. Trash cans. I'm going to look for it. You can get trash cans all day long at estate sales that are more cool than those. The knife blocks. I was wanting to get one, but I really don't want to spend this much money. Like $100 is pretty much what you'd need to spend. That's beautiful. I like this one. Chicago Cutlery. I like the style of that one a lot. Uh, that one is probably my favorite out of those. Yeah. So that one would be... Wait a minute. Oh, it's $70 today. So like, I was thinking I would just find one at an estate sale, but I wonder if it would be very good. You know what I mean? At least with this, you get you get all the pieces, guaranteed. Because a lot of times, you know, they're mixed matched sets, they're old. This has the metal all the way through, which is always good too. Some of the like budget ones, they have like imitation rivets or whatever they call this and then the metal doesn't go up through the handle so the metal going up through the handle is what you want i know just enough about cooking to be lethal <laughs> okay so maybe i should just go ahead and buy this because i have a pineapple at home calling my name i have a measuring cup i have i don't have a strainer i could get a strainer at an estate sale that doesn't have to be fancy ah I think some wooden spoons would be delightful to get too. I'm gonna look at the wooden spoons next. These are nice. A spoon and a whatchamadoodle. See, it's hard for me to pay full price. I'm gonna get those at an estate sale. I see that kind of stuff all the time. And things I want new, like furniture. I want new, like couches and fabrics and stuff like that. If it's like a chair, like a wood chair, no, we can do vintage on that. All right, there we go. A successful trip. It's time to wash the car. After that, we'll look at the bathroom bat mats and everything and go through all that. But I've got my scrubber and I got my beautiful hose. I'm excited. Oh, unfortunately, there's like this coupler thing over it. This does not fit. So I did find another spigot. Unfortunately, it's at the rear. So it's like at the rear side of the right side and the garage is on the left side of the so this is a 75 foot hose i don't have to figure out if it's gonna reach so we're just gonna find that out now together because i hope so i'm glad i got the larger one fortunately it only fits to here it's so close but it goes has to go all the way around and wrap around <laughs> can i just shoot it from here it won't reach okay well something so simple <laughs> It has not been. The power guy is here. He's gonna turn the power off any minute because he's swapping out the meter. Apparently the previous owner had like prepaid electric. I don't know what even that means, but they prepay for electric. So I'm just gonna get water. We'll rinse the car off with the sponge. And then I think that'll be that. I'm, I'm not gonna do the full wash today. I'm just gonna try to get it as good as I can. Do like a pre-wash or something. Stella, isn't that okay? So I just used a few buckets of water and that's gonna be good enough. I didn't end up using any soap because that would have been a lot more trouble to rinse off, but I got the majority of it clean. All right, so I just got a shower and then I walked out and it is raining. So it is a good thing that I did my car when I did. So it's in the garage now. I think what I wanna do is actually pick up around here a little bit. I do have a sale tonight on Real Nifty Vintage Live, vintage sale. So I don't know what time it is but I've got a few hours. So I figured I would pick up a little bit, get things in order, and then we're gonna put those towels down. I need to do some laundry, and I'm gonna cut into my pineapple, use my knives that I just bought today, and organize because yeah, there's, there's stuff everywhere. So we're gonna try to 
tidy up a little bit. Okay, so things are coming together. I've got a lot of it cleaned. You can see there. I think a lot of the trouble is just not knowing where things should go. So I've got like an entire bin there full of like cleaning supplies and I'm not sure where to put them. <laughs> I'm maybe this cabinet down here actually. I don't think anything's in there yet. Yeah, so I might just, maybe I'll put the entire tote in there. That'd be smart. Oh, that's loud. Yeah, I think I'll just do that. You know, I, I've been walking and, and I got to do the dishes too. So I'll do those soon. Then I need to eat dinner. But I've been walking back and forth along this you know, this floor. So many people in the comments said, oh, the floor's fine. Well, the color, you know, I could live with it, I guess, but I've been walking along it and there is some, I don't know what happened. If there was like, like a pebble or something underneath it, because you, it actually has pinched me a couple times as I've walked over it. I don't know if you can see this here. See how that, that's actually raised right there. So when you walk on it, you could, that, that's, yeah, I don't know. There's another one over there. See that extra, it's like right, that, that line there. You can even see it on camera that it's that much raised up. So when you walk on it, it's pretty, it's pretty pronounced. You could feel it. Here's another one I just walked over. And actually there's some damage there from when something hit it cause it's sticking up higher. So yeah, this floor, it kind of like bows in certain areas. So it's definitely not perfect. Okay, so I've never used this. I've got my towels in there, the new ones, and then some of my vintage ones and some other ones that I was using. So where's start? How does this work? Oh, push, oh, okay. So if I just read, that helps a lot. Push and turn clockwise to set, pull to start clockwise so I want it on I guess there the 10 and then oh I have to push and turn oh okay well it's gonna be on that one I overdid it and then pull to start oh wow okay I did it this is exciting Ooh. Yes, it's like a waterfall. Did put in one of these little guys. So that's good. Okay. You might not believe me, but I just shut this door because the washer and dryer is in there. I'll show you. It's loud. So we shut the door. I, I didn't, I did not know that this closet even existed. <laughs> how, how oblivious can you be? Like really? So I've got a pantry. I didn't even know that. Oh my goodness. I like, I guess this door has always been open every time I've been here because it's always been like that. And then I'm, I just, I don't even think about it. I'm just like walking. I don't even, oh my goodness. I think I need to take the baked potato out. The last time I did a baked potato, it was like, ow, you're hot. You're a hot potato. <laughs> last time I did this, it was like so done. It was like a shriveled up potato. It was like Mr. Elder Potato Head. Okay, I need to get in there. This is so hot. This microwave, by the way, it might be original. It, this thingy, this wheel doesn't spin. Oh, maybe I have to turn it on manually. I can't touch you. Okay. So like, that's a hot potato. We're just gonna stick that right there. Cause I need to do this part of it. The beans, the beans. Okay, it's like half a can. That's a lot of beans. I guess I didn't have half last time. That's more than I want. No, it's not. I'll do it. I'll do it. We're gonna have all them beans. I should have strained them, I think. Get on the plate. Okay. Um, okay, fork. Oh my goodness, why is this? Is this frozen? Oh my goodness. This is like half frozen. How did that happen? I guess the refrigerator is set too cold. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is, this is 
crazy. This is bonkers. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a here let me just pull up a little chunk of it we just need here we'll do that much Is that okay here let me just grab a little bit more okay so an update the turntable does not work and this handle's been glued on yeah I think that thing's probably original to the house along with I need to still clean this rice up I did the ground, I cleaned the ground. We'll just put it in a little pretty pile and then, Stella, would you like some rice? Come here, Stella. Have some rice. It's like she's getting married. Okay, so everything's cleaned up and I got my potato on there. I slopped up some of the bean juice with some paper towels. See, I'm like a chef, plating the food. So that's cleaned up, Stella's happy, we're all happy. I just need to grab a water. We're gonna go, I'm gonna go out on the back porch and we'll have that. Let's see. I don't have much water left in that one, but that's okay. Wait, let me open the door first. I only have one hand to deal with. Beautiful. And then for dessert, I'm gonna cut up this pineapple. Yes, I am. Sure am. Because I got those knives I can do that with. Go ahead, Stell. Oh, it feels so good out here. It rained a little bit earlier, I told you. And then, of course, it's not raining anymore. It's beautiful. Gosh, that was just lovely. I need to tell the chef how great that was. Stella, it was amazing. Well, no, you didn't have any part of it. It was me. I did it. Okay, so I'm going to have my pineapple. I'm so excited for it. You don't even realize. Like, I'm so excited to cut into this pineapple. So I need to get a cutting board. I know where it's at, I don't want to get it because I don't feel like it. So actually we're not gonna bother with the cutting board. I don't care about this countertop, so. So we just gotta cut, I think we have to cut the head off. That's beautiful. What time is it? I don't even know. I've got a sale tonight. Using consistent downward pressure, tilt, Twist clockwise until you have a, about a half an inch left inside the pineapple. How will I know? How will I know if the pineapple's cut? Consistent and downward pressure. That's going to be my new motto. Oh my gosh, it's a spinning. Okay, I think I... Okay, okay. This seems like it's going to do something for us. It's a little bit not straight. It's a little bit bent. Never a good sign. How do I know whenever it's about almost down? We just keep spinning. I'm just gonna assume that we're there. It seems like that's pretty, pretty in there. <gasps> Things are popping. It's the Target logo. Oh my gosh, look, there's juice in there. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Don't you love my pineapple rings? All right, you'll be happy to know that I have a leaning tower of pineapple because I did it, I, I accomplished it. And then I went back in and I grabbed a little bit more because there was a little bit more to get. One thing I'm not happy about, and I'll have to tell the makers of this pineapple my bobber. Ooh, can I eat this core? Is this allowed? Or is that not good to eat? Let's try it. You know what? That's appropriate. I can eat around the, the hard part. You know, but there's also what I would say is like some, there's a little bit of meat in there, right? Oh shoot, that's my juice. I'm pouring my juices all over. Um, it's very slippery. 
Nobody ever tells you that about pineapple, but it is. Oh my gosh, I feel like Martha Stewart right now. Would you like some pineapple? We're gonna put that in the refrigerator and then I'll have it tomorrow. It'll be a frozen brick, but that's okay. <laughs> I tried figuring out the whole freezer thing. The refrigerator i tried looking but i couldn't see well i think i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here we'll catch back up later but i need to prepare for my sale tonight there's things to do and that will be that so for now thanks for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe Bye bye